What's up you guys, it's Paul here. So I've been watching some videos on YouTube by my favorite YouTubers, Graham Stephan and Andre Jig, and they recently shared a really interesting video of a guy who posted on Wall Street Bets saying that his grandfather died and left him with 7,000 shares of Apple, and he was asking the people on Wall Street Bets as to what he's supposed to do with those shares. Okay, now they've given amazing advice, but I just wanted to share my thoughts on it from an options perspective and how he can really take advantage of the power of options trading with these 7,000 shares, okay? Now, to quickly give you a background in case you're not familiar with the story, uh, just to let you know, though, before that, he uses some colorful language, so here I'm actually editing a piece of it out, and I'm going to read it, so, you know, to meet the YouTube community guidelines here, okay? So anyway, the story is that, so my grandfather got sick, and it's honestly been a bit sad the last few days, but now the real question comes, and that is, what's next? Well, he was quite interesting and decided to dump my old college fund all into apple stock way back in 2003 because i enlisted instead okay now it's grown a lot and i'm looking for a way to buy a new wife that doesn't already have a boyfriend hilarious so what i need to know now is should i move it around or keep rolling all in apple okay at the current price of 500 dollars a share for apple approximately that's worth three and a half million dollars okay so that's a pretty sizable inheritance for him to the point where he literally never would have to work anymore and he would pretty much be set for life with three and a half million dollars okay and even if he just holds the shares or decides to sell only a few and let the remaining grow he literally has nothing else to worry about but i wanted to get into the tax implications if he decides to sell the shares and cash out the three and a half million dollars versus how whether he should uh, continue holding the shares or whether he needs to diversify it okay now here i just want to quickly go over how inherent inheritance tax works because if he decided to sell the three and a half million dollars of shares it's, it's not like he's going to be instantly hit with you know 50 percent of three and a half million dollars as a one and a half 1.75 million dollars in taxes okay inheritance uh, is taxed in a different way so to quickly read you here once the executor of the estate has divided up the assets and distributed them to the beneficiaries the inheritance comes into play okay now different states charge different taxes so for example if a particular state charges five percent of tax on inheritance larger than two million dollars then you would essentially pay only $150,000 tax on it, okay? Now, the really great thing is we only have six states in the U.S. that actually charge an inheritance tax, and the federal government does not have an inheritance tax, okay? So I'm not, I don't know which state this guy is from, but uh, assuming he's not in any of these states, he wouldn't even have to pay any inheritance tax. But if he, he does fall in any of these states, the taxes depends on what their cutoff is for that state versus what the percentage is, okay? Now, with the whole tax situation set aside, what what would he really have to do? Should he sell his shares? Should he just diversify? Now, what I would recommend doing is, or rather, what I would do if I were him, is if I have any big debts, debts like credit card debts or, how, or a huge mortgage left or student loans or car loans or anything with a high interest, this would be a great time to sell out only a portion of his shares and pay off all his debts so that he can start with a pretty clean slate, okay? So of the 7,000 shares, he could just sell 500 shares and collect $250,000 which is usually which would more than likely be enough to pay off any debt maybe if not the mortgage if he already has a house but if he doesn't he could use part of it to put a down payment on a house and buy a house okay but assuming he d doesn't even do that here's how I would play it purely from an options perspective okay now if I look at the, the Apple options here if I look one month out Let's say I took a strike price of 20% above Apple, okay? Let's, now I'm trying to pick a call option that is so far out of the money that by the expiration date, I'm actually expecting Apple to stay below that so that he could get the credit for selling the call option, okay? So the strategy that I'm talking about here is called a covered call. A covered call is where you sell call options against the shares that you already own, and then you get to get paid a premium for it okay so let's choose a strike price that's about 20 percent above apple it's pretty unlikely that it will reach there because it has apple has already gone up nearly 30 percent in just the last one month ever since they announced the stock split but let's just be safe and go 20 percent above and choose a 600 call option here now since he has 7,000 shares he could potentially sell 70 covered calls and at a, at a cost of 488 dollars he could instantly get a credit of $34,300, okay? 
that's quite an amount of credit to get right away and you get you get this credit right away by the way you don't get it on expiration date so what what i would do if i were him was i would collect this 34,300, and let's say go to facebook stock here and buy 100 shares of facebook okay which would cost 26,650. so if i do the math here real quick 34,000 minus 26,650. I would still be left with 7,650, but now I still own 100 shares of Facebook and 7,000 7, shares of Apple, okay? Now with this 7,650, 7, 7, I could potentially go up another month out and I could sell one more covered call on Facebook and collect $291. Add that here. Now I still have $7,941, okay? Now, another stock that I'm bullish on is Pinterest, which is currently trading at $34.15. So on top, I could use this credit that's still remaining and buy about 200 shares of Pinterest for about $68.30 here. So I would still be left with $1,111 and own 200 shares of Pinterest, okay? I could repeat the same process here. Go to go a month out. Let's say I sold the, let's say the thirty nine dollar call, which is about fifteen percent above where Pinterest is trading, and I could sell two more covered calls for one hundred and two dollars, which is two hundred and four for two covered calls, and I would still be left with thirteen fifteen dollars after buying hundred shares of Facebook and after buying two hundred shares of Pinterest, while still owning seven thousand shares of Apple. Okay. Now, the real beauty of this is when September 25th comes out, if all of them do end up staying below the strike price of, of the calls that we sold, he could repeat the same process, except this time he could sell 70 covered calls on Apple, one more covered call on Facebook, two covered calls on Pinterest, and use all that credit to buy more shares. Okay, He could potentially repeat this process every single month, keep building up credit, keep reinvesting that back into buying different shares and that's how he can diversify without selling a single share of Apple. Okay, And this can become such a legitimate source of income for him once he gets to a point where he could potentially be banking 50 to even 100k per month just by selling covered calls on all these new companies or ETFs that he collects. Okay. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I thought this was a really cool strategy. In fact, this is a strategy that I am planning to do myself once my portfolio gets to a point where I can make enough money from covered calls to be able to pay all my uh, all my bills to the point where I wouldn't need a paycheck. And that's my ultimate investing strategy for the future. But if you're someone who's lucky like him, or if you are the guy who posted on Wall Street Bets and you're watching this video, this is an incredible strategy that you could use and never have to sell a single share while making a good solid monthly income, okay? I, ho I hope you guys found that interesting. Please do smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below if you, if you, if you want to share your thoughts or if you have any other strategy that you want to share. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of my future videos, okay? Thanks again for watching and until next time.